Just before I start the video guys, the first comment on this video is gonna get themselves a serpentine helm worth around two bills, so congrats to whoever won that, but I'm also gonna be giving away a $50 scroll, so to enter that giveaway, all you have to do is just like the video, be subscribed with notifications on, and come your own game name on Elcoin. that's pretty much all you have to do to enter, so good luck in that giveaway. Right, so we were just doing some AFK thieving and we're now 95 thieving with a 50 mil cash stack. So I don't think you need cash for too much on the Iron Man. So um, that should be a pretty decent amount. So what I'm going to do now to get to 99 thieving is I'm just going to literally pickpocket the moss farmers. So I mean, that is going to be fairly slow at speed, but it's going to give us loads of seeds, which we're going to need for farming. So I mean, it doesn't take that much to get to 99 farming. But the thing is, we're going to need loads of herbs for potions and stuff. So we're probably going to end up getting like 500 mil farming XP or something. So yeah, might as well just get loads of seeds so we don't have to grind this out later. So yeah, let's go pickpocket the master farmer. All right, so I did quite a bit of thieving. <laughs> As you can see, I've got a lot of seed, but um, we're currently 97 thieving, so another two levels to go, but I'm gonna quickly do a farm run since uh, <laughs> we might as well. Yeah, let's go do it. All right, so we just finished our farm run and we actually ended up with 27 hub lore, literally from just cleaning the goam leaves and we're at 48 farming as well. So doing pretty well from my first farm run. I think what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna actually take a break from thieving since we pretty much have enough seeds to keep doing farm runs every now and then. And we're actually gonna start hunter because I wanna catch some zombie implings because they can give a hundred dragon bones i believe if you catch one of them and yeah we want to try and get turmoil and i feel like that'd be way more efficient than just camping like frost dragons because like we literally have no gear to do frost dragons with right now i mean we have a chaotic rapier which is pretty much all you need but still we have like no food i mean i do need to do fishing eventually to catch food and stuff but i just want like a higher prayer level without much effort all right so to start off we're just catching crimson swifts i'm sure everyone's done this at some point in their lives but yeah we need to basically just get 19 hunter which is literally we just need to catch two birds so we already caught one one, we should catch one more and then we'll be 19 hunter I'm pretty sure. Come on, just go on the snare and then after that we can catch tropical wagtails so there we go. Thanks for the hunter levels 20 hunters so yeah the tropical wagtails are northwest I believe of the jungle area so let's head over there. Yeah they're all the way up north so we're gonna be doing these until 53 hunter I believe so to actually catch zombie implings we need like 87 hunter or something so we're gonna have to be doing this for basically a while but once we get to chin chompers it should be really fast. Alright so we just got 50 hunter we need 53 for the great ones but oh, I've recorded this clip for 44 prayer so we can now unlock eagle eye but yeah as we're catching these like you do get a tiny bit of prayer xp from all the bones you get as well so yeah that's pretty nice and yeah we've only caught like 18 so far and it is really quick xp so we should be onto the chin chompers in no time all right there we go we just hit 53 hunters so but let's go catch chin chompers <laughs> all right so we literally only had to catch like 21 chins and we're already 63 hunters so onto the red chins I guess all right so this is actually a secret spot it kind of reminds me when I was grinding for the gold and chin chomp from my main account but if you head over to the brimhaven dungeon and then run all the way south there is actually a really good spawn for red chin chompers all right yeah so this is the spot by this river over here oh this brings back bad memories i had to catch thirty thousand chin chompers for that golden one but yeah we only need to catch like a hundred or so to get a 77 hunter for the grand walls so yeah, i'm not really gonna grind for pets on this account unless like we get every single drop in game or something so don't worry about that it would be such a troll if we just got the golden one on this account like really early on or something all right so we're like 80 hunter which is <laughs> we went a bit over the level that we needed but we only needed like 77 for the grenwalls and yeah so we're gonna head over there now didn't get any pets but <laughs> it's all good we'll head over to the grenwalls and how is or how you pronounce these and yeah let's start to catch these all right so they just started a pest control event so double points which means it's a good opportunity for us to get some avoid gear since a lot of people are going to be doing this so yeah we're gonna go do that and we currently have 88 hunters so we can already catch zombie and playing some I'm probably going to do that straight after the hunter event, but yeah, hopefully we can get a lot of pest control points. We've been doing this pest control event for almost two hours now, so we pretty much have a lot of points. So I'm just going to buy some of the gear, so buy the elite void because it's a lot better. And oh, we need a few more points. All right. Oh, we need 42 magic. No, we're one magic. All right. Like we don't really need good gear. We just need to do like 50 damage and then we're pretty much good to go. But yeah, after this, I will go and get 42 magic so I can equip that. But we still need a few more points because I want the mage hat and the fighter torso as well. And then that'll pretty much be it. And I might also get the fight hat because it's only 100 points, I believe. But yeah, pest control is so fun when it's double points because there's so many people doing it. So it's just great. All right, I'm pretty sure that was the last game we needed to do to unlock everything. So yeah, we have 500 points now. So what do we need? The mage hood, 
the fighter torso and the fighter hat so yeah we've pretty much got everything with that we need i'm pretty sure we don't really need the void mace for anything or the healer hat or the deflector so yeah all that's left to do is to get 42 magic and then we can actually equip this void <laughs> all right this should be pretty quick we can just auto cast spells and level up really quickly so 23 magic already nice all right and there it is just off the <laughs> one rock crab we're already 42 magic so we can now equip void armor all right nice now our iron man actually looks semi-decent so let's go catch those zombie implings oh my god i see one finally a zombie impling <laughs> yes it, this is actually taking quite a while to find it like we had to catch loads of other like implings so there's a higher chance that one of these spawns because you know there's not always guaranteed to be one. Oh my god stop running i really should have brought snare runes but i don't have any nature runes as such come on catch it you failed no i mean there's no one there's no one else catching it so oh this is so annoying please catch it there we go oh that is so beautiful and the dragon impling dragon longsword i'm just gonna open these see what sort of stuff we can get gold bars right i mean not bad to be honest but oh the org bones dude that's i'm pretty sure those are better than dragon bones so we're gonna toss all of those on the wilderness altar right now and just see what prayer levels that gets us to i might try and catch a few zombie emblems to be honest rather than just like one more because i want to try and be efficient with my votes because you can only get like one every day or something yo zombie emblem come here dude no <laughs> stop flying away Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, come on. Running away from me. Oh, I already wish I had snare runes, man. <laughs> this is so frustrating. Catch it, I failed like 10 times now. Oh my god, how many times can you... <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually triggered, man. I'm I'm genuinely triggered. Catch this damn thing. If we fail one more time, I swear to God, dude. Oh, my. Just catch it, man. Please. Finally. Oh, my God. We had to try to catch that, like, a million times. Thank you. Thank you, game. A hundred daring moons. That's what I fucking deserve. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that was AIDS. Oh. At least we got it. Oh, I forgot to record it, but we actually caught a dragon impling and we got 175 dragon bolt tips, so that's actually going to be semi-useful. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's so beautiful. Magic seed. Oh, my God. Oh, like, these actually give some really good loot, but I need snare, man. There's, like, there's no doubt about it. I need snare. I'm definitely not coming back here, but if 200 dragon bones and 100 all bones, I'm pretty sure that's more than enough to get to a decent prayer level. Hopefully 95. I don't even know. It depends on our RNG with the Warden Assaulter, because, like, basically there's a 50% chance that it doesn't use the bone. So that's a pretty decent chance. So so technically that's worth like 450 bones, which is a lot So I don't know if that's enough, but hopefully it is and hopefully no one PKs us either because that would be a bit depressing I'm only gonna take over one inventory each time So let's see how it works out basically gives the same XP as a gilded altar look we didn't use that bone didn't use that one either Oh, this is so good. These levels are so fast as all. I mean, we're definitely gonna get piety at least All right. Yeah, there's 70 prayer already so we can now use piety All right So I decided to bring some noted bones because it seems like no one's gonna PK me here Like I don't think a lot of people even know about this altar because it's actually a recent update but yeah you, you can use this guy to unnote your bones so i'm just gonna use him i'm not sure if it actually costs anything i mean hopefully not these prayer levels are flying by it i'm not even sure if we need to use the orc bones but yeah those implings were definitely a good idea all right there's another guy here he's i mean he's an iron man but still i'm a bit suspicious in case like he calls his clan or something so but yeah this guy notes them for free which is actually really convenient but either way after this symmetry i'm not bringing any more noted bones oh my god i just died are you fucking kidding me? Why does that guy kill me for an inventory of fucking dragon bones? I mean, if I teleport back there, I might still have to pick off the ground because I doubt he's just going to loot <laughs> normal dragon bones. Yeah, I'm only going to bring like 20. And if he's still camping there, I'm definitely going to go kill him on my main. That is so annoying. But with that inventory, we got 92 prayers, so we've now unlocked soul split, which is nice. All right, so I didn't actually check how much XP the dragon bones gave us per bone, but oh god, is that a PK? Please don't be a PK. <laughs> Oh, why, dude? <sighs> okay, these guys are fucking dying, man. I'm, I'm actually tired. Yeah. Oh my! <laughs> Sit the fuck down! Holy fuck! Oh my! God. Oh, 95 prayer. There it is. Now we can use turmoil. <laughs> Wow, this guy just kills me, but I'm 99 prayer, so it's all good. I don't really care about those eight bones. Wait, he got four bones technically. Congrats, dude. But yeah, we've literally only had nine hours of game time. We're already max combat stats, 99 prayer, 99 dungeoneering, pretty much 99 thieving, hunter as well. Got a few farming levels, and yeah, I'd say the account's doing pretty well right now. Anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed watching, and if you haven't already, then definitely do make sure to try out the server. There's currently loads of people online, like 215 online right now, so usually on the weekends, there's like 300 plus online, and there's double XP in the weekends as well, so definitely make 
make sure to check that out. But yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. And yeah, make sure to click on the link in the description below because it is a referral link. So clicking on that link would really help me out. And if you haven't already, then make sure to enter that giveaway at the start of the video as well. Like a fifty dollars scroll is worth around eight bill on here, which is a lot of money. Or you can use it to get yourself super donator rank, which has a lot of really cool benefits. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun on my Iron Man. And now I'm gonna pick the results from the previous giveaway. So good luck to everyone. All right, so 107 unique people entered. So the winner of the fifty dollars scroll from the previous video is Bacava. Congratulations, dude. You just won yourself a 50 scroll on Elkoi. So just PM me in game or PM me on Discord. The link to my Discord is in the description below. You can use that to contact me. But yeah, congrats again, dude.